Hello and welcome to another room here on Try Hack Me. Today we're going to tackle the room called Brute It. Now I'm going to try a new approach to solving these rooms on Try Hack Me. I'm not really going to focus too much on filling in stuff like, you know, in reconnaissance field you can fill in ants and stuff, but there's also flags and other secrets to find. Now I'm going to focus mainly on completing the room. Now I already know what to do and I already know which kind of flags need to find. So I'm not going to output anything and you will see some of it basically, but most of it you need to cut out yourself. So you need to do the actual room. So we have the IP up. So let's go ahead and just try and see if there's a web page. So far there is no web page. Maybe it is not booted. So let's go to the terminal. Let's start our in-map scan, so in-map. And typical, we're gonna scan for standard uh, services, versions and scripts. So let's go ahead and run it. Also because I know there's a web page, so we're just gonna go ahead and and start GoBuster. User, share, work. Uh, there's a big fly. Alrighty then. I'm gonna go to direct the pasta directory two point medium whatever. So let's go ahead and start it. Already we know there's a folder called admin, which is really good. And we got the, the answer back from Nmap. And you can go ahead and try and run a full port scan if you wish to do so. But it's not necessary. Only two ports open, 22 for SSH and 84 Apache. So let's go ahead and visit the web page now. This is the web page. Pretty boring. Let's go to slash admin. And this is the page. Let's go and just press. Nothing there. Look at the source. And instantly we see down below it says, Hey John, if you're not a member, the username is admin. So we got two names. We got John and admin. Let's go ahead and just say tap number two. And let's go ahead and write John and admin. Now we need to find <coughs> the uh, the key to the login form here, or the password. And we're gonna do that for admin. So let's go ahead and go here and start a Hydra scan. So Hydra, oops. Hydra L admin and then it's gonna be capitalized P for user user share word list rock you I think it's HTTP let me just see if we can find my notes for this one more time so Hydra root HTTP form let's just take anything basically we can find. I'm gonna write it so we can see what I do. So no need to be worried about that. I just um, what's it what is it called again? It's called the HTTP post form. And then we have the two parentheses and the very first one is gonna be slash admin slash, I think it's index, index PHP. Now, if you don't know if index doesn't really matter much, but you can always just go ahead and try index, index PHP. You can also right click and see if you can get some information here. The action is empty, so you should, you would need to, you know, manually try it. Um, and then we're gonna have a colon for, and then it would be, let me just see one more time. I'm gonna look at the form it's user on the name and pass on the name on the input fields so we're gonna do user let me just see if i did it right away username user i think we're just gonna do equal and then write user and and pass equal to pass and then we're gonna have the f which is equal to the um 
error message, which would be this one right here. Let's copy paste that and put it in. And let's just try and press enter now. Did I do it? Um, unknown service admin. Let's see if I did it the right way. Didn't I do it the right way? HTTP post form slash admin slash index. That would be correct. So let me just try to find. Did I do something wrong? Let me just see. So we're using small letter L for username, capitalized for list. And oh, we forgot the IP address. That's it, yeah. So sometimes you just forget the kind of things and I'm just, just try to run one more time. And if not mistaken, this should be pretty fast, pretty fast. So let's just wait a few seconds and see what we get. And we have it. The password for admin is Xavier. So let's go ahead and save that there. And let's do admin Xavier. And well, we got this flag here, which I'm going to leave. But there are two flags that I'm not going to show. One is a user flag. The other one is root flag. So, but we got the RSA private key and Yes, you can see it is encrypted. So let's go ahead and just copy paste it. Go to terminal, clear it. Touch a file called brooded. And basically going to brood it. Paste the RSA file. Go ahead and start John and say brood it. And use the word list of user share. Right list, rock you, it's a presenter. And if I'm not mistaken, this should be pretty fast as well. So when you just do it like this, you basically tell John to just figure out which kind of, you know, hash it is that you need to brute force. So it's running. And I forgot to do SSH to John. Because I am forgetting stuff, so brooded. I'm gonna be I. There you go. And now we're gonna run one more time. I, this is just you know, John cannot um, brute force directly SSH key. You need to have an special John format, which is why I need to do SSH to John. Now it says it's already loaded it for me, so I should just write that as show. And uh, why it's not working? Uh, let's see. Isn't that the show? Oh, there you go. So it basically gives me this. Um, it's called Run Row. And if we look clearly on the web page, it's John's key. I'm just going to show one time. It says, uh, hey, John, and here's your RSA key. So that's it. So what we should do now is go ahead and just uh, copy paste the IP address. Go to terminal, click the screen, SSH, John, at this IP address, and basically go ahead and say yes. And then we're going to copy paste wrong row. I think that's the correct password anyways. And it is not the correct password. Let me just one more time. Copy. Paste. Nope. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to do the 
dash i brewed it for the SSH key and then we gotta okay so I totally forgot again one time 600 brewed it we need to give it the right permissions else it's not gonna work the passphrase as I just copy pasted I think we have it now we in with John and we are who am I as you can see with John so let's go ahead and just go to home and this is in the John folder we can get our first flag. Now, this is not interesting for me to output, so I'm just gonna do sudo l. Now we can see that we can do a bin cat. We can cat something out. And we can do that without typing a password. So, what I could basically do is sudo bin cat and cc shadow. And then I could take the root uh, shadow key here. And then go to my own screen, I guess it's still running. <laughs> and go ahead and do nano, uh, root, brute. <laughs> Paste it in. And just type run, John one more time and do root, brute. That's nice word list. And then do some like user share word list. Rock you. I still have it, so. I ran it before, so you probably haven't. So I'm going to do that, that show. And we'll see the password is football. All right, so I can go back. Let's say kill screen, su root football, enter, and now we're root. Go into root folder, and there you have it. That is your flag. This is the machine. It's pretty easy, straightforward. Just do some uh, brute forcing of weak hashes. Now, I want to say that the, the trick to a successful brute force is the correct word list. Without the correct word list, you will never get success. So if you know the password policy for the company you're trying to hack or for the person or for the whatever, then <clears throat> it would be a great, great idea for you if you spend some time creating that password list before trying to brute force a password. So that's about it for this room. Now, I really hope you liked the video and if you did so and do so, please consider shouting out the, in the channel and saying something like hello and i'm going to reply back to you and until next time have a really nice time and i'll see you again online bye